Hello friends, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. In today's uh, video, I want to show you a new product we have in stock at Inaxis, which is the new Ajax socket, um, type B socket, sorry, uh, for North America. So um, we were expecting this device for a little while. Um, basically, it's, it has different applications from powering devices at home, the office, uh, you know, basically um, the maximum current supported is 15 amps, so it's good for, you know, uh, boiling water or even making your coffee, uh, controlling lights, uh, you know, so, and as we will see in, in the next steps, uh, you know, you can create scenarios for this device to activate and deactivate based on arming and disarming the system or on schedule or actually uh, based on temperature, which is great, you know, if the temperature, let's say, reaches I don't know, 28 degrees in your apartment, you can activate the output of this device and start the air conditioning. Okay, so again, you can have a ton of these installed um, and we have ton of these in stock. So um, again, it's very useful and I'm gonna install a bunch of these at home for sure. All right, so um, let me show you how to enroll this device into the Ajax hub using the application on my phone. Um, and we'll give you some um, ideas of all the settings available in the device and also at the end, we will show you a typical scenario where you would want to use one of these Ajax sockets. All right, so now let's enroll this uh, Ajax socket into my app. You know, uh, first, obviously, we need to access the QR code from underneath the device. In the app, I'm going to go to Add Device. We want to scan the QR code. Let's get a clear image. All right, so I want to give it a name, so Ajax socket, all right, okay, and it's assigned to the office, which is, you know, the, the area I want to use with. So I go add device, and then I will connect the device, it's going to take a few seconds to power up, and the hub should see it actually very soon. Okay, so it's still blinking, perfect, it's blue, it's connected. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So um, basically, and, and that's a good uh, tool to, to test, you know, what's connected to it. Um, basically, the current right now is zero being used, obviously, because I don't have any device connected to it. And if you connect the device and turn it on, you're going to see how much current your device is using. Okay, the color around the socket will change depending on the current consumption. So if it's too high, you'll know you have a notification in the hub and the app, okay? So make sure you give some room that it's less than 15 amps, you know, to avoid interruptions, okay? So basically, um, if we see the status of the device, if we go under here, um, you know, you can define the notifications, uh, you know, if you want to receive every notification or maybe you just want to know if it's offline or online, all right? So that's, uh, you decide what you want to do, okay? So you can actually lower the, you know, the, the, the over um, current protection um, here, basically. So it's set at 15 amps, which is the maximum by default, okay? Um, basically, you can change the brightness, you know, you can even turn it off if it's in, in your bedroom, for instance, okay? Uh, by default, the mode is bi-stable, so basically it's gonna follow you know, activation and deactivation based on the scenario or the, the state of the area, etc. So, and then you can switch it to pulse. So if I switch it to pulse and activate it here, all right, hold on, back in the list, you see? So if I activate it, it's gonna stay on for five seconds, which is a default, okay? Then I can go back, I can stop it myself and I can go back into the settings if I want to put it back to, to be stable like that, okay? and you can define whether the contact is normally open or normally closed. By default, it's normally open. And then we have here the scenario example. So this is, again, very cool. You can actually go by arming and disarming, by alarm, by schedule, and by temperature, okay? So, and by temperature, you just select the device you want to follow, and then you can define the threshold, whether if it's higher or lower that value, then the output will activate, okay? So again, it's very cool. You can create scenarios and obviously control it manually. All right, so an, an example of this is if you configured all your sockets to turn off when you arm the system, then there's no way you leave something on that could be, have a risk of fire, for instance, um, you know, if you were pressing clothes or if you had a boiler on, things like that, it's gonna turn off when you leave, okay? A good way also to turn electric, electronic equipment off when you're not at home, this way they don't use any, any current, you know, in your system, okay? So you can save on energy. Um, all right, so basically, um, 
this was how to connect the socket to your hub, all right? And, and now we're gonna show you a, a typical scenario of when you can use this. We're gonna have a bit of fun, all right? So let's have a look at the scenario. Okay, so as we said, we want to show you an example or a typical scenario of why you want to use one of these. Um, you know, we have our boiler here. We have the um, relay or sorry, the, the, the socket in the off position. It's already connected, already turned on, okay? So basically, if I go back inside the app, from the list of devices, I want to switch the um, socket on. You see it's purple, okay? So if I go to the properties of it, I can see I'm using 11.67 amps, okay? And we can hear the boiler already, okay? So again, if you're in your bed, you're lazy, you wanna start the boiler or start the coffee machine, you can use one of these. Um, again, we have tons of these in stock, so we're ready to fill up your orders, all right? So I'm gonna turn it off, so, so we don't have much noise in the video. All right, so it's off, and then we can see the sound going off. Sorry. Okay, so again, this was how to connect and how to use the Ajax socket device. Um, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button to follow us. And uh, if you need any help from our support or sales team, you can reach them from the inaccess.com website. All right, thanks for watching. Fred Brejean from Inaccess. See you soon.